climate and environmental changes due to human activity have um, increased in the last decades. So during these periods in general, the annual, annual uh, global temperature of the air and the sea has increased, sea level has risen, and ocean acidification is ongoing, for instance. So in general, climate tend to be drier and warmer. And so, for instance, the average global temperature in the Mediterranean is uh, 1.4 degrees Celsius higher than the global trends, the global current trends, which, is, which makes it actually a hot spot for climate change. These, of course, have several risks uh, in terms of uh, human health, but also on terrestrial and marine ecosystems. For instance, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, we have lost over 40% of top marine predators and over 30% of fish, commercial and non-commercial. So, and also, in addition to this direct climate effect, you have um, other interconnected effects due to human pressures, like ecosystem and landscape degradation by urbanization, um, land use and tourism and transport, for instance, which aggravate actually the direct effect of climate change. As for future projections, I can uh, think about three main challenges. So, the increase in temperatures and air temperatures that are expected to be between 2 and 6 degrees by the end of the century. Uh, this actually means that we will we'll have uh, more and more heat waves that are likely to become more extreme and or more frequent. And um, one of the main consequences actually is uh, the decrease in precipitations in the, uh, in the whole Mediterranean region, which will have an effect on the scarcity of uh, freshwater resources, for instance, and all the implications for health, industry, agriculture, and, and go on and on. The second main challenge that I see is rise in sea level. Uh, this has been expected to rise between 10 and 25 centimeter by 2040, 2050, depending on projections. So this will implicate that uh, um, floodings will be more, more and more frequent, erosion rates will, inc will increase, and other problems such as salination of uh, coastal aquifers, which will make them unusable actually for irrigation, for instance, or for agriculture. And the third part is concerning the sea itself. I mean, warming of uh, temperatures and uh, continuing of ongoing acidification will have a huge impact on, uh, on um, marine ecosystems, for instance. And uh, as an example, we could cite uh, aggravation of the actual invasion by alien species that are more adapted to extreme conditions. And uh, uh, on the other hand, the mortality, increased mortality of indigenous species that will occur in these environments. To my opinion, uh, one is of the most concrete action I can think about is the urgent transition um, of energy toward, toward low carbon and climate resilience economy that actually supports new technologies and research, of course, in that domain that helps actually makes uh, uh, or adjust ecosystem actually to be better adapted to uh, the future. Uh, future climate related change that will happen. Second of all, uh, because of rural communities depends uh, highly on agriculture for their livelihoods, um, innovation, agricultural innovation is uh, important in order to face the climate related change for these populations. Approaches such as diversification of uh, cropping systems or conservation agriculture will certainly help you know, these population uh, securing their um, livelihoods and increasing food and nutrient uh, security, for instance. In the sea, marine protected areas are really playing an important role, key role, into uh, assessing actually the vulnerabilities of the marine ecosystems because um, they will help assessing actually these vulnerabilities and adapt the best management possible to, uh, to be able to adapt to these climate changes. Mm -hmm.